Hello, good afternoon. My name is Christy Karik Ball. I'm the Behavioral Health Consultant at Women's Health Center at uh, UTRGV School of Medicine. Um, and I work at an OBGYN office, a residency training program. Welcome. And today we're going to be talking about um, breast health and um, breast cancer prevention, in particular, mammograms, some frequently asked questions um, that uh, will hopefully get you to have your first screening if you've never had one or back to have uh, another screening if you've already started. Hi, everybody. My name is Joanna Garza. I'm also a behavioral health consultant for the School of Medicine at one of their family medicine residency programs. So let's get started. Um, so Christy, can you um, just start us off by talking about why is a mammogram done? Why, why is it important? Absolutely. So mammograms are uh, done for two reasons. Uh, they can either be used as a screening te test to check for um, breast cancer in women who do not have any signs or symptoms. And it's also uh, used as a diagnostic test um, if there are lumps or any other symptoms that may have um, uh, led to the clinician thinking that you need a, a mammogram. So those are the two main reasons, but today we're going to speak more to the screening uh, test. And if you wouldn't mind, can you talk to us a little bit about what kind of the process looks like and what happens during a mammogram, just to kind of prepare us a little bit? Sure, so um, when you go into your office, you're going into the um, a screening office, you're going to have to undress from the waist um, up and you put on a gown and you're asked to stand in front of an X-ray machine um, and one of your breasts will be placed between two flat uh, plastic plates. Um, you're going to feel firm pressure on your breasts and they do warn you, they tell you that you're going to feel pressure. Um, the breasts uh, will be flattened as much as possible so that they can get an accurate image of the tissue. Um, and the test will be repeated um, on the other side um, and um, it's done um, when they have a clear image. And then is it painful as far as like while we're getting the exam done? So there um, is pressure and um, it can make the breast ache. Everybody tolerates it differently. But um, the important thing to remember is that it's really fast. It um, uh, is a discomfort that doesn't last long. And um, we have a breathing exercise that we can uh, talk about. Um, to help manage the stress. And as you're preparing before your exam, if you're worried a lot about it, you're thinking about it, a lot of times that's when it's even worse. So you're thinking about it, you're working yourself up and you start sweating and it can actually make the pain worse. So uh, remembering that you're doing this for a really good reason for your preventative health. We know that if we find um, any um, cancers or any lumps or um, if we are able to diagnose early, we're able to treat early and patients have better outcomes. So um, that's why we're doing it. So it helps you calm down and you say, okay, this is a gift to myself. I need to do this. Um, it can help you manage the pre-stress. And then we can talk now, uh, whenever you're ready, Joanna, about um, some breathing techniques during the exam. I did want to talk about what we call calm breathing, which is four, seven, eight breathing, um, and kind of demonstrate what that would look like, because I think this can be used, as you said, preparing for the exam while we're getting the exam, maybe as, as the we get worries and, and jitters about um, waiting for the results of the exam. Um, so, want to practice it, Christy? <laughs> yes, you okay. narrate it and I'll count it. Okay, so what you would do is inhale for four seconds. Okay. And then we'd hold that breath for seven seconds. And then exhale slowly for eight seconds. Perfect. And then do that repeatedly just to kind of help us kind of almost ground us and bring us to the present moment and stop, stop some of those um, anxious feelings that we might be experiencing. And this breath cycle, you can practice um, just four of those four times in, hold and exhale, do that four times. And very quickly, you'll notice your stress reactivity go down. Um, and I would even say anytime that you're feeling any kind of, you know, anxiousness, it doesn't have to be related to getting a breast exam done or, uh, or anything like that. It could be just, um, maybe you're going about your day, feel a little bit of anxiety and we can do that four, seven, eight. 
All right, Christy, well, I think that concludes our little mini session. Um, thanks everybody for tuning in. And again, reach out to um, your physicians out at UT Health for any questions. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you everybody for listening, taking the time. And um, all over the lower, mid and upper valley, we have UT Health clinics uh, with uh, clinicians that can help in uh, whole person care. So come see us and have a wonderful evening everybody thank you joanna it was fun chatting today yes absolutely thanks christy